Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the topic of how to assemble and wire a UHF TV aerial. Okay, so we see in front of me here the three basic component parts of uh, the UHF aerial. You have a deflection plate which is mounted on the back just here. We have this mounting bracket here which is used to connect um, this uh, TV aerial to a bracket such as the one as I hold in my hand which will be used to mount it onto a wall um, or chimney. And then the final um, part of it is the main part of the bracket itself. So you can see here this is a 10 element UHF aerial. That's the, just the different elements on it here. And the, 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 the magic of it all happens here. We have um, uh, just a little small printed circuit board here. And this is where uh, the actual wiring connects in and it'll pick up the UHF signal, run it down through the cable and then into your UHF television or your Serview box or uh, whatever, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do in this assembly process, I'm just actually gonna pare down this piece of cable here that I'm gonna use in the wiring, okay? So um, in terms of tools, what I'm gonna use is I have the snips here as well. And at a later point, I'm gonna use uh, a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna come down about 40 to 50 millimeters along the cable here. I'm gonna make um, cuts all the way around. And what I want to do is make sure that we cut through the outer uh, protection layer, but we don't go any further than that, because we need, just directly under this, is um, copper braiding, and we're gonna need this. Uh, it's a vital part of the actual uh, assembly of this area. So what we do here is we pull off the outside uh, protection, and now what we do is we're gonna just pair back Pull this back here, uh, the UHF, or the actual braiding here, and we're just going to wrap it tightly around itself so it becomes like a single piece of cable. Okay, so you can see that here, and then we're going to pull off this outside braiding here, and then the next step is we're going to come down about uh, six or seven millimeters along, and we're just going to make another series of cuts around, and we're going to remove the next layer of insulation, which is just here. Okay. Right, so the next part here is I'm actually going to come along and I'm going to put on this uh, deflection plate here. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to slide this deflection plate so you can see it curves forward. So you, it's possible to mount it forwards or backwards, but the way that you want to mount it is with the curve aiming forward, okay? So the idea of this is the deflection plate is keeping away unwanted signal that's coming from the direction of um, another transmitter because we only really want to be picking up signal from the transmitter that we're aiming towards. So we'd point the TV aerial towards that particular transmitter and this deflection plate is effective from that perspective. So what we do here is come down, slide it in like this and the next thing we're going to do is I'm actually just going to slide this cable through here and there like this. So you could actually, if you don't put the cable in at this point, it, it all depends on where you wire this. If you wire this with a UHF aerial, you can actually slide this cable, or um, you can put this cable through afterwards. But if the cable is fixed and coming from a fixed point, it's important to assemble, run the cable through uh, before you have the aerial fully assembled. Otherwise, you might end up in a situation where you're running this cable down and it's um, rubbing off of the top part here, which will actually end up, uh, you'll cut the cable eventually. It's not a good idea. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to come along. I'm going to slide this through this uh, cap here, okay? So you can see it's coming through here. And I just repeat this repeatedly now. Slide it all the way through, and if this cable pulled all the way through here now, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wrap this braiding tightly around like this. I'm just going to move to the next step of the process here. I'm just going to pick up this um, flathead screwdriver. I'm going to loosen off these nuts here. And I'm just going to grab this Phillips screwdriver at this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to slowly guide this into position here. So what I'll do here is I just use this copper thing here. And we slide it through, slide it through. So what we have achieved now is we want the core wire to be touching the center here, and we want the outside braiding to be pushed underneath this 
um, double uh, you are, uh, screws here. So that both of them are clamped in, but that they're not touching each other, okay? So what I'll do next is I'll simply pull this back a tiny bit here. Now the key thing to look out for at this point is to make absolutely certain that the earth and the core wires are not touching each other. If they are, you'll be running into serious problems in terms of reception. So what we do here is we just screw this into position like this, lock it in, and I'm actually going to just get the snips here now, and I'm just going to snip it off at that point. And next I get the Phillips, or my flathead screwdriver, and I'm simply going to push this braiding in here to make sure it's giving a good connection. And what I'll do then is I'll simply get my flathead screwdriver, screw this down into position like this, uh, screw this down as well, okay. And that's it. Um, so next we come along, we're just going to slide the capping into position. So we just slide down along here. And what we want to make sure is that we're going to clip it down so we'll get a good watertight uh, connection all the way around. So we can see there, and then we just want to line it up so it's more or less coming straight back. So that's more or less the aerial fully assembled. The final step here, I'll just move these out of the way, we're going to actually come along and just slide this bracket on here. So what we're going to do here is we just slide this on here, down along, and what we have here then is this will slide over the yeah. bracket or pole here. So what we do then is, and we could use then a 10 millimeter spanner or socket to lock this into position, okay? So that's it, the assembly uh, process uh, from beginning to end. Now the aerial I've showed you here is a wide band, it's black tip, it covers the full UHF spectrum. We also stock a range of um, grouped UHF aerials. So the great advantage of the wide band, it'll work everywhere and because the digital signal, particularly with the new Serview service, is extremely strong, the, U, the wide band aerial will normally work anywhere. But if you know the transmission frequency of your particular uh, transmitter, all of this is available on the tvtrade.ie website. You might want to opt for, let's say, a, a, a colour tipped aerial that will cover certain parts of the UHF spectrum and do so extremely well. Um, but the assembly process for those other ones is exactly the same as what I've described here. So that's it anyway, a beginning to end, an overview of the assembly and wiring of a UHF area.